So now we've got this. Um, so the this, the forces in BC and EC. Uh, from here we can move up to point E. So I'll just show you. So now that we have the force in this one, and we have the force in this one, we move up to this one because we can you can see that we can sum the forces or we can see the forces in the x direction and the y direction um, just by this force and so we'll do that again so this point here f b e f e c f d e but we already have f e c so, and we have f AC equals 20 on sine 45. Okay. <coughs> um, so then we do this. We do some of the forces in the x direction. So we have to take this x component of this. So the x component of this is sine 45. Sine 45, so we have um, Fe also. Um, sine 45 of FEC minus, since it's going to the left, FDE equals 0. F D E equals sine forty five F E C which equals we can see from up here that um the sine's forty five just cancel which equals twenty kilonewtons. Okay. So now we can also use the other way, other component of this um, F E C to work out what F B E is. So we've got this is positive, so we've got negative F B E equals oh sorry minus um, cos forty five F E C equals zero and then you can see um, let me just work out what F B E is F B E equals negative um, cos forty five F E C which equals negative Cos 45 on sine 45. I'm just not doing the numbers just because so you can see what I'm actually doing here. So just to re-clarify, um, this negative sign just means it's in the opposite direction of what we have it going as. So here we have it going down and since it's negative it means it goes up. So the actual, um, what this joint would look like is um, that's cos 45 sine 45 times 20 um, oh, 20 on sine 45 and 20 okay so that's what that join would look like since uh, we have to account for this negative bit so it's pushing up into this join okay so now we're going to see an E and you repeat it for each one continue doing it because that's the question as well <laughs> the question is to do all the joints so now we can move on to B so I'll just show you what we got now this is our free body diagram from before now we have this one and we have this one as well so we can move on to B and do we have the X and Y components so we can work out um, work out these